Hey guys, Luke here, and we're here to preview the Friday night games in the NRL. I'm going to start off with uh, Manly Ringer vs Brisbane. So, um, it's on Channel 9, live 7.30pm in Queensland, and it's on delay for the New South Wales people at 9.30. And also, if you want to watch it on Fox Sports, it's on at 1am delay. Referees Jared Sutton, um, and the assistant referees Alan Shortle, so they'll be switching over. And um, touch judges Jason Walsh and Russell Turner with video refs Bernard Sutton and Luke Patton. So we'll go through the lineups. So mainly, um, this is their lineup. We've got Brett Stewart, George Defour, Jamie Lyon, Steve Maddai, Peter Hicku, Kieran Foran, Daly Cherry Evans, Josh Starling, Matt Ballin, Brett Lawrence, Anthony Watmo, Thomas Simons, Jamie Bura, and then their bench is Jesse Senna Lefeo, Tyson Andrews, James Hassan, and Jason King. Swap over to the Broncos um, team lineup. They're as follows Josh Hoffman, Daniel Vito, Dale Copley, Justin Hodges, who's the captain, Jack Reed. Ben Barber, Ben Hunt, Josh McGuire, Andrew McCulloch, Corey Parker, who's also co-captain, Alex Glenn, Matt Gillett, and Sam Thide. And their bench is Jake Granville, Todd Lowry, Ben Hannett, and Corey Oates, with uh, Martin Kennedy, 18th man. So basically, I just there's no reason to beat around the bush. I, mean, I think Manly got to flog them. Um, let's be honest, Broncos have not been very impressive this year. Um, Barber at 5'8". Hoffman's been good at fullback since he's gone back there. Um, they've had a few off-field sort of uh, distractions as well over the last few weeks. Um, Jack Reed just coming back to the... He's coming on the wing. I suspect he probably won't play there. Copley will probably swap with him. Cause, uh, I don't think Jack Reed's ever played wing in the NRL, at least. So um, People might think of it... They might not think it's an um, important position, but I think the wing, it is. Um, a lot of this important decision-making has to happen in defence with the wingers. Um, you can really tell when, when teams have bad wingers, um, they get destroyed down the edges, usually. And that's where Manly are very strong. Even like George, Tua, George Tafu has been pulling out the last few weeks, uh, and then they either bring in um, Chase Blair or Gutherson, and they're still so strong. But really, uh, Manly's forward pack, they haven't got the best forward pack, but they've got a good enough one to compete with most of the top sides. They're definitely good enough to compete with Brisbane. On paper, Brisbane have a really good forward pack, but they just don't seem to put it together. Um, the bench bench for Manly is pretty average, let's be honest, but um, Broncos, are not, again, on paper, a pretty good bench, but um, they just don't, don't seem to be able to pull it off. And I, It's at Brookvale, and we all know Fortress Brookvale. Um, yeah, like I said, I can't see Manly losing this one. 13 plus, I would say. Now we're going to jump into the next game, which is the Canterbury Banks and Bulldogs taking on Penrith Panthers. So uh, it's going to be the um, obviously it's going to be the opposite times for um, New South Wales and Queensland. So for New South Wales, this is the first game, 7:30, and it's on delay at Queensland, 9:30, and it's on at Fox Sports at 11:30 p.m. Referee is Matt Checken, and the assistant referee is Dave Munro. Touch judges are Steve Carroll and Chris Sutton, and the video rest are Steve Clark and Ben Glear. So I'm going to go into the team lineups. So Bulldogs is Sam Parrott, Corey Thompson, Moses Umbaya, Tim Lafire, Mitch Brown, Josh Reynolds, Trent Hawkinson, Sam Casiano, Michael Ennis, who's the captain, James Graham, Josh Jackson, Tony Williams, Greg Eastwood in the bench. It's Randy Matua, Dale Finucane, David Clemmer, and Lloyd Parrott. And then the Panthers lineup is as followed. Fullback Matt Moylan, Josh Mansour, Dean Varro, Jamal Idris, Dave Simmons. At 5'8", we've got Bill Smith uh, making his debut by the looks of things. Um, Jamie Stowards moved to the halfback. Nigel Plum, James Seguiaro, Brent Kite, Sikamanu, Elijah Taylor, and Adam Docker. In the benches, Lewis Brown, Jeremy Lattimore, Bryce Cartwright, and Sam McKendry. With Isaac Yeo, Yeo or whatever his name is, um, his 18th man. Now, um, from memory, last week, Bryce Cartwright was in the starting lineup, as was that Yeo, Yeo dude. Isaac Yeo, I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, I don't think Sikamanu played, so he's come back into the lineup. Cartwright's on the bench. Um, Bulldogs have not been impressive at all in the last few games, um, but there's a few things you could put that down to. I'm not going to try and um, do an unbiased review because uh, I'll preview, so it's obviously I'm going to be biased on a Bulldogs border. Um, I'm not going to be like the NRL commentators and all that who say they're not, they act like they're not biased, but then you can tell that they are. So I'm just going to be straight up and say this has got to be a biased one, but. Um, I think a lot of people would say you'd expect Bulldogs to pick up the victory here. Um, fairly easy, easy, I would say, but I also thought that they'd beat Cowboys and um, Tigers quite convincingly. 
But in saying that, Josh Reynolds is back. He'll be a big, big plus. Uh, Sam Perrett's second game back. Um, will be Moses Umbaya's like third game in the centres, I think. Um, so he's adjusting to a centre. He's not. He's not a centre. He's a five eight. Um, so I'm not sure why they didn't play him there last week, but whatever. Tony Williams moves back to the second row, so um, less responsibility on him. Pretty much Bulldogs are sort of getting the troops back, and I expect them to pick up some form coming into the finals um, as players return. Panthers, the opposite, though. I expect them to go downhill. Um, this Will Smith dude, I've seen him in Res um, New South Wales Cup. I think he used to play for Knights. Um... He's been decent. He's, um, in the games I've actually seen, he's been some of the, one of the better players. But at the same time, I don't know if he, he'll be able to handle um, first grade. Reigns to be seen. Um, hopefully the kid goes all right. I don't know if he's a kid. Um, he's been around for a little while, I think. Just hasn't played first grade. Um, back line's pretty good. Moylan's played pretty well this season. But in saying that, um, I just can't see Sauer taking enough control. Um, I expect Reynolds and Hogginson to run right in this game. I'm expecting Bulldogs 13 plus as well. So uh, that's come to the end of the episode or end of the video. Um, if I did if my predictions are wrong, that's uh, that's okay. Um, I'm not saying uh, these are definitely gonna happen. It's just a little prediction I'm making just to go with the video. So um yeah if you enjoyed the video hit the like button subscribe to the channel for more and check out my Saturday games when they're up. Alright, see you bye.